And I wanted to maybe highlight a little bit more about weight loss is for a lot of people that is a goal when they're working out and can lead to overexercise. In fact, as I've been having more conversations with people, I, I continue to be surprised. Like I was w running on the treadmill like three hours a day trying to lose weight or all these stories from people where that's not beneficial for their bodies. And if we think about what's going to be really helpful, it's that more uh, consistent program, but not something that's where workouts are taking over our lives. It's just simply a part of our life. That Part of that is realizing that a well-rounded workout program is going to include strength which is absolutely essential as our muscles get stronger. It's better for our, our body. It's actually really valuable for our metabolism, more so than a cardiovascular workout running. This is not to devalue that element because, of course, that's helpful for our heart health and it can reduce stress as well. And, and so when we take the opportunity to kind of maybe detach from some of the toxic myths we've been told with workouts that it's about a certain physique and go into the essence of how does this make me feel in my physical body? How does this make me maybe a better person manage stress a, a little bit better as well? That that is so much more sustainable because I've been teaching Pilates for so long now, over 20 years, I can tell you this one truth about workouts and physique. The ideal physique is going to change. And when I first got started with Pilates, it was a much different physique that was ideal compared to now. And what I'm starting to see is that there's an opening of the door of let's actually honor instead what is our body shape? What is our natural physique? And there's more understanding that health and wellness is not about a size or a specific shape. It's all about taking the pressure off because when there's so much pressure on the workouts for maybe physique based or even, you know, I want to stay healthy and strong. That's what it was for me, for sure. Instead, we think, how is this benefiting my overall life? How is this going to be helpful for me, for my sustained energy. And I think we've all had this days where we wake up, it's like, oh, I'm just so tired. I don't feel like getting up and really moving my, my body. But when we shift into what are we doing to actually help us for vitality? How, how is our sleep pattern? Maybe that's disrupted. How are we fueling our body with nutrients? What are we doing for movement that gives us energy and not depletes it? And that's something sometimes with an overemphasis on workouts that are incredibly high intensity. It's not that those are bad. It's simply that if we do too many of those, and sometimes too many of those too soon, actually depletes our energy reserve. And we think, oh, I'm just not cut out for workouts. And for a lot of people who have known, they just stop trying rather than thinking, well, maybe that type of workout isn't beneficial for me right now. And thinking about the other options that could be a better fit. Yeah, absolutely. So for the people who do want to start slow, what are the benefits between a regular fitness program and doing weights versus Pilates? I love this question because Pilates can be really misunderstood. I feel like sometimes strength training can be misunderstood as well. There's a misconception with Pilates that it's just all about a good core workout where we're just going to use these really light baby weights is what I call them, like two or three pound weights. Now, don't get me wrong. You'll see me teaching with light weights, but usually when I'm teaching with really light weights, it's so that people can work on their form, number one. Maybe they're just getting back into exercise, number two, or we are working mobility work. And mobility is so important and really where Pilates shines. I'll get to strength in just a moment. However, mobility work is what, makes our joints continue to feel good and is incorporated into a lot of Pilates exercises. There's also strength components with Pilates as well. 
It depends upon what type of Pilates class someone is taking. And so, for instance, if someone were to take one of my classic Pilates classes that uses no weights whatsoever, well, that wouldn't really be considered a strength training type of workout. It's wonderful for flexibility, mobility, overall balance. You'll feel so much better in your body and mind a wonderful complement to more strengthening sessions. However, strengthening sessions, we're looking at uh, larger muscle groups, a lot of standing exercises. Of course, we can do body weight exercises. A push-up is a push-up, no matter if you do that in the gym or out of your own home, and your body doesn't know the difference necessarily between lifting a heavy weight in the gym or at home or using in replacement of a weight sometimes a resistance band because resistance is, is resistance. And so it's really the type of class that people are moving with. And I could even say that if someone were going to the gym and doing strength training or they thought they were doing strength training, if that load wasn't heavy enough, and if they weren't repeating um, enough as well, getting enough repetition in, then it wouldn't necessarily be strength. So one thing that's really nice is the classes that I teach is I label them for people so it's a little bit easier to identify this is a strength type of class. And in that, we want the weights, if we're lifting weights and it's not a body weight class, to be challenging enough where the ending last two to three repetitions are going to be more effortful compared to the first few that we do. And it's one reason why people, when they ask me, well, what size weights are you lifting in that strong six workout you're doing, that what I'm using may be not enough for someone else, or it may be too much. So I encourage people to tune in well, am I feeling like that's more challenging at the end phase or can I keep doing like 10 more repetitions? And learning that about our bodies is really fabulous because then the next time someone comes to that same workout or a similar one, they have a better understanding of, well, I need to maybe increase the weight a little bit or maybe decrease it a little bit. So fine tuning uh, with Pilates is an Ever evolving process. Hey guys, I would like to take a moment to introduce you to our app, Yoga Plus. You will have access to an incredible selection of videos led by top instructors in yoga, fitness, nutrition, and so much more. Download our Yoga Plus app available on iOS and Android today.